Meanwhile, the Guam Board of Education will convene in executive session for the fourth time tomorrow to discuss the findings of their legal counsel into the investigation of sexual misconduct against GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez. Though the additional leave is not to exceed October 4th, this extension will mark the second time Fernandez received an extended paid administrative leave, totaling 55 days by the beginning of next month. The Guam Board of Education voted 6-2 to two last week in favor of extending Fernandez's paid leave for an additional 15 days and not to exceed October 4th. Meanwhile, the Board of Education will determine if the legal counsel's report indicates any policy or procedural violations and whether those violations lead to any criminal offenses. The Board stated that they would need at least one week to digest a 69-page report and will meet tomorrow, September 27th, for executive session.